Hello, this is George Sender, the real official, authentic, original, the one, the only, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, trolls, or trolls who tell me not to go to the emergency room when the charge nurse of general medicine told me to go. I'll be going tomorrow because I'm having stabbing pains in the chest even when I'm not breathing or doing anything. So it's time to go, and I've had to deal with all this cleaning stuff and everything else. I want to thank Bright Eyes for sending me Slim Path. That will be a huge help. So uh, I thank her. And by the way, she is uh, she has a very large storage space, which cost her a lot of money. But I understand she won a major backgammon tournament, and she took the money and bought a used fireboat. And she has painted it to look like a San Francisco Fire Department fireboat. I think they only have one. They used to have two. And she's more than off Alcatraz. And she's going to use the giant water cannons at night in the cover of darkness and fog to dig a new hole in the dungeons underneath Alcatraz so she can store all her storage under there. And the National Park Service will never suspect that she's storing all her storage in there for free because it'll be a brand new tunnel that will not lead to the dungeon. It'll be on the other side and then she'll cover it up with a metal plate and then cover it up with dirt. So she'll save thousands of dollars a year, and then she can sell this fireboat and make a profit. <laughs> so that's what Bright Eyes is doing. And I found out that there, there's a book about a Viking called Bright Eyes, but it's a male Bright Eyes, which would confuse people. All right, here's what I got this story. i got to go feed the cat. And my calf muscles have been hurting all day. First of all, I got this. Where's the box? Box was here a minute ago. I do it the box. Box, box. Where are you, box? Adam. Okay, I got this today. I bought this gel cold pack for ankle and foot. Revix, the inner lining avoid, avoids condensation, water, and cold injury. Unique and tailor made design fits for ankle and foot snugly after frozen. The gel with lower freezing point stays cold and flexible for a long time. Flexible, reusable, and durable. So this fits over your entire foot and ankle and bones. And my ankle has been swelling up all the time ever since I fell off the airbed. So this says, freeze the gel pack flat in the freezer four hours for use. Store the cold pack in the freezer ready for next use. Apply cold pack for periods worth the 20 minutes every two to four hours. I'm going to buy another one if this works. Then I've got one for the knee. I can put a block under my thigh. The hip is no longer hurting, but it's been hurting to stand or walk all day today. Tomorrow I go to the ER. Okay, that was $27, but I hope it works. And I got a new mouse, but it's not recognized. This is supposed to be a Bluetooth mouse. This is Aston Martin, and uh, it's supposed to light up and all that. And it's, not, it's got batteries in it, but I turn it on, nothing's happening. I may have to disconnect the wired mouse. But normally I can use both. So why this isn't working, I don't know. And then this is the other mouse, the pocket optical mouse. So this is supposed to work for Mac. I haven't opened it up yet. This is a Kensington mouse. I want to make sure I have mice. I'm tired of mice breaking. All right, Sunmade Raisins. Safeway's Progresso Soup is three fifty nine forty nine a can or fifty nine. Disgusting. Classic chicken noodle, chunky Campbell's. <laughs> Two cans of pineapple chunks. Uh, well, <laughs> wait, just wait. You're close. You're close. Oh, I found my lost senior clipper card, which was in this backpack, which I don't use very often. So now I've got to call them tomorrow and say, can you reactivate my clipper card? Which has got about 50 bucks of clippers for that one. All right, we have Cran Peach, one bottle. We have orange juice. I have to go down and feed Model Cat and Kitten and go feed the Tiny One. Even though it's dark, it's kind of too late. I left there an extra cup in case something happened. I couldn't do the grapes. We have here a local bag of my eggs. Have here some probiotic apricots. I'm not sure what probiotic means, but it says it's better than yogurt. I don't know why. Uh, 
two pouches of salmon for orangey. Same thing in Neosporin, because I have a lot of cuts, and I have cuts that happen in the middle of the night, I don't even remember cutting myself. So I got that. I had my Neosporin for a long time. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I have some free range air chilled chicken. So I'll cook that tomorrow. I'm really rather tired. So uh, we have beef pot roast. This will stay cold in the freezer for a while. Same with this beef merlot. Oops. And uh, I'll have this later tonight after I've had a nap and ice my thigh down, my leg down, my ankle down, and my knee down. My left knee has been hurting too. We have asparagus spears, steam fresh, and a steak. And I have little tiny potatoes, so I'm going to cut those up and put them in with the steak. So that's, that's my haul for tonight. So, um, but this guy, I still think that this got cut, that this got torn or something when I fell off that air bed. Um, so instead of off-brand mouse from China, I'm mad because of the eBay things that show the things lighting up and everything else, and I'll ask my money back uh, if it doesn't work. And uh, Kathy's getting books coming in. One of the guys said with an ebook, I said, wait a minute, your listing on eBay doesn't say anything about ebook. So I want to refund. I haven't got an answer to that. I may have to call eBay and complain about that. Okay. Uh, this thing is interesting. And then it has some kind of wire holding it in or something. This may be for a laptop, we will see. I have another mouse in the drawer there that does work. Uh, okay. Oh, this is this is a wired mouse. Okay, it's an optical wired mouse. Alright, now I know why it's got this giant card here with a small hole with a perforation. Okay. There's the wired mouse. And he uh, has a, has a um, instruction book. And works and it, this goes back to Windows 98 for God's sake. But it still should work for Mac. Um we'll find out. A little carrying pouch. That's what this was. I'm trying to figure out what the hell that was. There you go. Kensington. I've been buying Kensington products for Apple products for years. McAlli and Kensington and of course Apple. And uh USB connector Troubleshooting tips, comfort guidelines, who knew they had comfort guidelines, tech support, warranty information, brand new, never used, 2003, it's a really old mouse, <laughs> we'll see what happens, anyway, so there's that mouse and uh, all of that, so. Uh, I haven't been on the phone to anybody except one credit card company was very rude and Kathy. So it was not me and I don't know who you are. I don't have your phone number. How would I call you? I don't know your real identity. How would I call you? That's dumb. I'm the guy from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, not California. I only know one person in Pittsburgh, California. That's Kathy, but that's where she lives. But how did they get your number? I don't have your number. 
How do they know who you are? They have to have a home phone number or a mobile phone number. So I don't, I don't, I question your veracity. That's too weird of a story. Someone called and said they were the guy from Pittsburgh. Come on. How would they know who you are? They have, your name is not Billy Boy Blaze on your Verizon or T-Mobile or AT&T or any of the other uh, phone contractors out there. How would they know your location and where, where your phone is? I sure don't have it. And how would they know that you're listening to my channel or watching my videos? It makes no sense to me. Something is suspicious with this comment. It's not logical. They, they, out of all the handles on the YouTube and all the handles on the internet, they should pick you out. 350 million people and some troll calls you and says he's me. And I don't ask for donations to the hospital unless I need to get to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, well, that, uh, that I've heard of. That I've heard of. I've heard all kinds of scams, including one guy on the bus who had me use my phone to call his aunt. She said, I'm not getting out of bed. I'm sick. And we just, he had to go to Clayton, and he wanted money for a cab. So there's all kinds of shenan shenanigans going on out there. Okay, I had to put this stuff away. I am in pain tonight. And I have to go. Mama Kit, Kitten was waiting for me when I went to the store. I have to go down to the calf. This is going to be a very abbreviated video. And my, my calf is hurting. And I cut the calf with accidentally with with right across where it's hurting with 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 my knife so accidentally so i think that's why it's still hurting there is no update i didn't do much of anything today i was in too much pain so i will be getting up early in the morning before i go to the emergency room because this thing is stabbing pain all the way up to the armpit this afternoon and uh, i will vacuum the floor and sweep and mop the kitchen floor so I can at least get something done. And then Friday and Friday I'll do more I'll do vacuuming in the bedroom and start straightening everything out now. Bear with me. I gotta stop. This is always painful. One, two, three, four. And I don't have a cane here, it's by the door or something. Uh really hard to get off this chair. Mm. Okay. Uh. Uh. Anybody who thinks I am not injured is a liar and out of their mind. And by the way, no Kathy is here. No Kathy's were harmed in the creation of this video. Kathy's at home. I talked to her when I was waiting to come back on the bus.
vacuum in the bedroom, dust all the books, dust all the shelves, clear up the clutter, mop and sweep, sweep the kitchen, take everything off the kitchen counter, re-clean the kitchen counter by, on both sides of the sink, put the burners back in, mop and sweep the hallway, briefly mop the bathroom, and then straighten up in here. But when I'm in pain, I can't do anything now. Now that I have one for my ankle, one I can wrap around my thigh, or put a block of ice on the towel and the, on the bed pillow which Fuzzy is sleeping on, then after 20 to 30 minutes, I, I, don't, I wouldn't give him the timeline this time, just keep cleaning. That's why I did a video this morning showing what I've done so far. I've got a lot more to do in here. But I think part of it is lying on the floor. Kathy got dizzy lying on the floor. When I sit too long in this chair, the, the calf starts hurting. So um, she wants to see cleaning progress. That's why I did the video this morning. I'm going to continue to clean. I got all weekend to do it. They don't come by on a Friday. They have to give notice. So I got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It will be ungodly hot here. It's going to be 87 tomorrow. 92 or 94 Friday, that's when I'm going to the hospital tomorrow, where it's relatively cool. 95 Saturday and 95 Sunday, and now we'll go back to something normal. So, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to drink juice. I need liquids. I need hydration. And water is boring. So, What did I do with the orange juice? Did I take the orange juice in there? I guess I took the orange juice in there. Oh, that's the orange juice in there. And the neosporin. I'm going to put the neosporin on the wound on the cap. I can't eat grape, I can't drink grape juice because I take a generic Lipitor for cholesterol, so that's out. Right, there's the Neosporin. I love, I lost six, I lost 25 pounds eating two grapefruits a day, and I'm really mad that I can't eat grapefruit anymore. Put that on that wound. Maybe it's infected. I don't know. There's another wound on my leg. I have no idea how I cut it. And now I got Neosporin for that. This was the cheapest thing going. This is $3.99. So, anyhow, I figure a week. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it all done in a week. Pain or no pain. Um just a matter of, I got a vacuum over there, I got to pick up all this stuff up floor, move the air, move the bed, the foam bed off the floor so I can clean, throw stuff out. A lot of paperwork to throw out or, or put in something. You know, I think you're a troll. I'm going to put you in a timeout. You're getting ridiculous with this stuff. Smoke stops COVID. I don't think you're the real Walter driver. I think you're an imposter. I don't think you're the real Walter driver. I think you're an imposter. So, smoking stop COVID, good Lord. The idiotic thing I've ever read in chat. Where's chat? Someone's healing, healing out there. Hold on. Well, here's another troll. Here's another troll. Mr. Kim the Moron. Okay, and I'm putting you in a timeout. In fact, I don't think you're a real Walter driver. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete you from the channel.
Well, next week I'm going to deal with it. Once I get the provider letter, then I can apply for a provider that will help. I'm going to get the other thing, and I'm going to get a hold of the housing director. So that, you know, but I'm not going to tell you anybody what I'm going to do. They'll find out when I do it. So. The diapers. <laughs> that troll licks the diapers and not cat diapers. Real diapers. Idiot. Because they're, they're evil people. They've accused me of killing my parents, killing cats, beating cats. It never stops. They're disruptive. They have no life. They have no, no decency or honor or anything else. Well, look, people, I gotta, I gotta lie down. I gotta feed mama cat and kitten it's way too dark to feed mama cat and kitten tiny one ought to wait till morning if i can have a day or two without pain i can get the back bedroom done at least get get everything neat it may not be dusted right away but i can get it neat back there and that's my goal to get everything neat if i have to put them, all the little toys and things in boxes and put them in that corner that's fine so um Like I said, I sat in the bedroom after I did a video. I sat too long. I think it's part of what did it. I, I sat looking stuff up on on my on Google, and I think that's what injured that what made my leg hurt. If I sit in this chair too long, it really hurts. The 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 calf muscle starts hurting. I will start working this place tomorrow and the weekend. Uh, there. Uh, one of them is there, one of them seems to have disappeared. But I figure eventually they'll wear off. So, um, uh, this is the biggest clutter in this room is this table behind me with all the paperwork. I gotta start putting in boxes or something. I can go, I don't have an appointment, you just walk in the emergency room. Like, yeah. uh, anyway. All right, people, I got to go. I got to go feed Kitten, and I got to lie down, ice everything down, so I can go back there tonight and go through some, there's a box of paperwork I can go through. I can start putting the toys in boxes. I, I kept the cat food boxes. Little stuff that could be taken off the shelves. I'm going to take it off anyway to dust, and then Friday I will go, and, and my ankle is hurting too, so... Hopefully by now, I got that thing about from 4 o'clock. Hopefully by now it's frozen so I can wrap it around my ankle and my foot. So, um, no, they told me to go to the charge nurse at UCSF, told me to go to the emergency room, but with all this cleaning and manager coming by and plumbing and turning off the heater, I haven't had the time, the energy, or I've been in too much pain to go to the ER. I'm going tomorrow, fine. No, I'm not moving too fast. I'm sitting still. Where do you get a moving too fast from? I need to go, people. I am hurting. And Mama Cat and the raccoons are out now. It's dark. I have to go feed Mama Cat and Kitten and lie down. I'm in a great deal of pain. You can't accept that. I'm sorry. But if I don't lie down, I can't get anything done in here. Including dinner later on. And including feeding my cat. Because the ribs that got hurt are either full of fluid or infected. And I cannot fix that myself, all right? That was when I first got up. But I got up out of the chair. And this thing here, my right rib cage, cage is swollen from now from around my stomach line all the way up. To my armpit and there were stabbing pains and then I wasn't even moving. That's why I'm going to the ER. Alright? The steak, because I figure I need the protein, I need the blood for iron, the asparagus and potatoes. Yeah, rib can be infected. You can get pneumonia. No. Oh. No, oh, I'm not gonna have a 
or walk in my back. You're being ridiculous. All right, with that, uh, I can't take it anymore. These dumb comments. And I don't want my 6,000 subscribers for harassing the manager, so... I'll just remove it. Alright, have a good night, people. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.